Hello world, it's John Pinto, your roving realtor, Bon Vivant video blogger, and I am here with Eric from uh, HomeGuard. Eric, uh, please enlighten us. How do you pronounce your last name? Uh, my last name is pronounced Seren, like Serenity. Very good. And when they have you do a termite report or a home inspection report, assuming they're going to have serenity after they know that that's handled. And that's what they're hoping for. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, Raphael, tell us a little bit about your role at HomeGuard. Hey, everybody. I'm the San Francisco uh, North Bay Territory Manager, and I'm here to help if you guys need any of the uh, inspection needs or home warranty or NHD questions, you can be uh, feel free to contact me. Excellent. So, uh, Eric, um, one of the things that gives me agita, as the Italians say, agita, A-C-I-D-A, -A, uh, heartburn, right. uh, consternation would be a nice word, is when I get a notice of work completed as opposed to a certification from the uh, termite company. And usually that is not uh, initiated or triggered by the termite company. It's usually triggered by the seller, the co-op seller and the co-op listing agent, right. uh, probably having the termite company do partial recommendation work or having somebody completely different come in and do the work. So um, can you advise us on why I might have consternation about that? And what consumers, especially on the buying side, need to know about when they get a uh, notice of work completed versus a certification. Right. So the certification means an inspector went out and inspected the home and there are no longer any section one items. So you don't have any damage or infestation. Uh, the notice of work completed basically means someone's done an inspection, someone has done some of the repairs, possibly not all the repairs. And then it's basically a, a list of everything that has been completed. And also at the bottom will be a list of things that have not been completed. And if all the section one items have not been completed, then you're not getting a certification. You're just getting a notice that these things were done and this is how much you know we're paid for for these things. And these are the things remaining to be completed. So I look at the certification uh, kind of as a metaphor for uh, my fuzzy warm slippers and my old big sweater that I like. I just find that word very comforting uh, as opposed to the notice of work completed is not necessarily uh, comforting. Uh, can you explain why I may feel that way? <laughs> Basically, it means, you know, they may not have completed all those section one repairs. There are mm -hmm. still items that need to be fixed and you're not going to get uh, a certification on that home. And if you need to get funding uh, and it's depending on that cert one clearing, uh, I'm sorry, the certification clearing, mm -hmm. then you're not going to get it until everything that's needed to be done as far as a section one repair gets completed. Okay. So we're on the uh, same page. Uh, so uh, let's, um, kind of conclude this video with uh, Eric's word to the wise, um, to home sellers, listing agents, buyers, buyers agents, how do you suggest that they approach certification versus the notice of work completed? I would advise if you're selling the home to get all the section one items repaired. Uh, and then if you do get the certification, we will give you um, excuse me, if you get the notice of completion, we can give you a certification. Uh, it's almost like buying one of those um, pre-tested cars at the dealership. Someone has gone through, they've checked everything, they've made sure everything works correctly. You get a nice warm feeling when you're buying that car. It's the same thing when you're trying to list your home. You can tell people that you had some issues, you took care of those issues, and the house is now ready for you to move into with no problems. Excellent. And uh, if uh, people want to find more information online, where would you direct them, Eric? Uh, please go to our website at homeguard.com. We have lots of videos, uh, information, um, any kind of questions that you may have. We also have uh, virtual um, people on there that can answer questions if you have a question specifically about uh, inspection. 
Thanks for having that resource available. And uh, Raphael, if people are too lazy to actually go find that website and check it out themselves, uh, how can they call you, their home guard concierge, to order uh, inspections or just get information? Absolutely. You guys can feel free to call me at 707-616-8762. You can also text me if that's easier for you, or you can email me at rbetances at homeguard.com. That's R uh, and my last name at homeguard.com. Thank you, gentlemen, for imparting that information. And thank you out there for watching another video. And we will see you on the next page.